Okay, so this is a demo lesson for high beginners called verb simple. It's for have and have got. This is going to show you the difference between have and when to use have got. This is a great lesson to go through if you're not sure uh, which one to use one or the other. If you're struggling with this kind of verb usage, you may want to check this out. Hope you guys see you soon. Okay, when you're ready, we're going to begin in three, two, one, go. Hey, this is Michael with Michael's Business English. For those of you who don't know me, my name is Michael Rincon. I'm a former six-figure data analyst turned ESL instructor and career coach. I support English language learners improve their career development through communications and language training. If you're new here, on this channel, we talk about business English, communications, and career development. So if that's something you're interested in, make sure you like and subscribe, and all the links mentioned in this video will be found in the description box below. All right, welcome to this demo lesson on verbs, simple, simple verbs. We're going to cover have and have got. This is an A2 high beginner lesson. So the objectives of today's lesson include we're going to use short answers for have and have got questions. We're going to introduce uh, have for actions and express experiences, but not have got. And we're going to introduce possible use of continuous tenses for actions and experiences. Um, this is an introductory lesson. So a thing to keep in mind here is that we use have and have got to express ownership. I've got a new car, relationships, I've got two sisters, illness or problems, I've got a headache. We use have but not have got for actions or, or ex experiences. I have a shower every morning. All right, let's continue. Okay, so for this section, I want you to warm up. I want you to uh, make sentences using the subject plus have slash has plus noun. So for example, I have a car. You have new shoes, right? Just like, that's very simple, right? So he has a blue shirt. Can you do some more? Can you practice a she? has a green bag it has a new collar okay so keep going so now has slash have in negative form okay make sentences using uh, both the negative forms like i have not i do not right so let's go back and look at some more um, you have not you do not so remember the words from the original slide right so a, a car new shoes so let's practice using these I have not got a new car. You have not gotten new shoes. He does not have a lot of money. Oh, poor guy. That sucks. We haven't gotten a new car, right? So just making new sentences. This is warm up practice. Uh, show me what you can do. Now, how about has have in question form, right? So like uh, using both forms, have I got a car? Do I have um, new shoes? Have you gotten a lot of money? Do you have a new bag? Have they got a lot of money? Right. Has he got a new car? Does she have a new bag? So here's some gap fill exercises to practice this now. Ready? So for each section, I want you to use the correct version of has um, or have or does or got. You see this? Like So has, so this is the first one is has, does, has Harry got tickets for the volleyball, well, excuse me, for the volleyball match. Does Harry have tickets for the volleyball match, right? So has Harry uh, got tickets? So what's the correct verb here, right? So Geoff cannot come to the cinema as he, what's one way of answering this? Let me, uh, 50. Okay, I can't do it the way I was hoping to do. So like, what would you put here? 
Geoff can't come to the cinema as he blank too much work tonight. What can you put in there? Is it has or is it have, right? Like, has he, let's go back. Let me give you a hint. He has, we use has with he. Oh, there was my text. So as he has too much work tonight, or you can put in has got too much work tonight. Either of those would work um, because of how the sentence structure works with got, how subject works. How about this one? Blank it blank a large garden. So how can you say answer this one? Blank it blank a large garden. Let's go back to it, right? So like it, it is always gonna be used with has and does. Right, so we go back here. He, she, and it, we were talking about a uh, third party. Gonna to be has or got. So let's go back here. So how would you answer this when we're using it? So one way is, does it, oh, it have a large garden? Right, because remember, does it have? Right, the other way you can do it. Has it got a large garden? So remember how we came to this, right? So you go back here, with, where we're using has, we use he, she, or it, we're using these, we use has got, does have, right? Have you got, has he got, have, has, right? You see the difference has is used with he, she, it, but have is used with I, you, we, they. So here's some more uh, exercises to try out. Cecil blank his car keys at the moment. He lost them yesterday. So what was it? What's the correct conjugation here? What do we do here? So what can we derive from here? Cecil blank his car keys at the moment. He lost them yesterday. Remember what we do before with the he? Go back. He has. He has got, he, does he have? One more thing I wanna show you, like negative, like right? he has not got, he does not have. Okay, let's go back here. So what's the correct answer? Cecil, which is he, has not got his car keys at the moment. Sucks. He has not got his car keys at the moment. Do you know how to conjugate? So instead of saying has not, you could say hasn't. Move conjugations. If not, it might be a good idea to go back through the conjugations lesson. Another way of doing this is not just has not. You could also be does. Oh. Does. Int does not have. Cecil does not have his car keys at the moment. Or you can also do doesn't. I mean, the conjugate, you can do that if you need to do that. So remember, we use have for actions and experiences, but we do not use have got. So for example, I have a shower each morning at seven o'clock. We don't say I've got a shower at seven o'clock in the morning. I have got, I've got. Then I have had, I have breakfast at half past seven. Not I've got breakfast, like not I've got. We don't say, you know, we don't say the got. So does that make sense? Just make sure you just say I have. So can you use, can you answer these questions um, using have and has? Right, so this should be pretty simple. Like going back from the very beginning, how I showed you the, the how we use uh, subjects with a uh, have and has, right? So like we blank every morning at 7 a.m. I usually eat fruit and yogurt. Oh, wrong button. There we go. 
So we, is it has or have? We have breakfast every morning. Remember, because have is with the pronoun we, right? You go back to the very beginning of the slides, go back to the beginning of the demo lesson to watch this if you have questions. Let me do a couple more real quick. In summer, I always blank in the pool. So this one's a little bit more complicated. Now we're asking you, oh, sorry, I forgot to fix this. We have breakfast every morning. Sorry, I apologize. Um, we have breakfast every morning at 7 a.m. We have blank. So what do we do here? In summer, I always blank in the pool. I always have a swim, right? Just remember who the, pro who the subject is. Uh, the subject, I. John blank with sugar before he goes to work. Which one is this? So remember John, remember he, she, and it is different than um, I, you, we, they. Right? With he, she, and it, we say has. So John has a coffee with sugar before he goes to work. Okay, so for this section, I'm gonna go over the homework real quick. Um, just so you have an idea of what to expect. So for the first section, is just write whether each statement is true or false. I have a brother and I've got a brother mean the same thing. Is that true or false? Right? Um, now, if you remember from the beginning of this demo lesson, I gave you the answers, like when do we use have versus have got, right? So do you want me to answer that? Like put in the comments what you think it is. You think it's true or do you think it's false? This is true. I have a brother, I've got, I have got, right? I've is I have. So if you're not familiar with the conjugations, uh, this would be a good time to go back and review conjugation lessons. Uh, mean the same thing. Remember, we can use have got with relationships. He doesn't have a code and he hasn't got a code mean the same thing. So remember, um, doesn't have, he has not got. Remember, if you're not from the conjugations, it's not he doesn't, it's he does not. That helps you. He has not got a code. He does not have a code. Is that the same thing? Um, so in this case, it is also true because uh, when it comes to situations like your health uh, and your events, we can say have got, um, we can say, sorry, we can say things like has got or does not have got. So I'm going over the place, does not got. We can say got basically, we can include got with when it comes to conditions. Okay, let's move on. Complete short answer to these questions by using the phrases in the boxes. This is interesting. Uh, okay, so does Ethan have an uncle who is very rich? No, he, oh, that's weird, what am I doing that? Okay, sorry about that, my Google thing is messing up. Okay, well, don't worry about that. Yeah, so if I'm using Google right now and it's, it's giving me my address. I'm not sure why. Um, anyway, so does Ethan have an uncle who is very rich? No. Ethan is a, so first let's start with this. Ethan, is that a boy's name? Is that a girl's name? What kind of, what is this? Um, it's a guy's name. So we would say, which would we use? Would, she, would we use she, they, I, you, he, or we? Right? And it's a negative. So we would say, we say, what would we do there, right? So if it's a negative, no, he, this might be, if it's a negative, we would use a not, right? So we would say, no, we would say, Ethan does not. No, he doesn't. Okay, have we got any milk in the fridge? Yes. Yes, what do you, yes, she, yes, she hasn't got any milk in the fridge. Remember, we were talking about we. Yes, I do. Yes, you have. Yes, he doesn't. Yes, we have. Yes, they don't. Which one is it? So it's actually, yes, we have. Do I have the right version of the software? Uh, what do you think? Type in the comments below. Let me know what you think. I'm going to move on, actually, because we we're running out of time. But I'll just say you quick. So, yes, I do. 
Okay, let's move on to one more. Provide short answers to these questions about yourself to people you know. Do you have brown hair? So it's, this is about me, right? So like me, yes, I do have brown hair. Has your mother got a sister? Um, that's a good question. I have no idea, to be honest. I should call her and find out. Um, let's see. If you don't know the answer to this, um, then just say, I don't know. I don't, want, I don't want you to say, I don't know, if you don't know, right? Like, I want you to come up with answers. Oh, I don't know if my mom is to say, um, just, let's do this. No, she, oh, doesn't. Why are we using she? Because mother, she. I'm talking about my mother. No, she doesn't. I don't know. I don't know. Um, just that way the teacher knows that I don't actually know, I just made it up. Your grandparents have a house with a garden. Um, no. So remember, it's yes or no, it's gonna be all that to you. So for example, this is hard, because what do my grandparents do? Uh, yes, my, this is tough, because I have two grandparents, one on my mom's side, one on my dad's side. So just pick one that you want to use in this situation. So in this case, I'll talk about one of my grandparents. It's like, uh, no, they don't. No, they don't. Okay, let's look at the next one. Conversation at the shop. Imagine a conversation between a person wanting to buy something, for example, a car, a computer, or apartment, and a shop assistant. Using two questions, using the two questions forms of to have, Right questions the buyer should ask and short answers the shop assistant might provide. That's interesting. So, for example, does this computer have a webcam? No, it doesn't. No, it hasn't. Um, so, this is curious. Curious. This one's going to be more challenging, I think. But let's try one real question to see. So, First of all, you gotta make up a, a, a situation. So let's say you go to Starbucks. Like, do you have cheesecake? I don't. Oh, sorry. This is too. It's not to be like, no, I don't. I'm not sure. Like, so I guess you just make us one sentence per question, right? Like, have you, let's see, to have, right? So it's another question form. I don't know if we actually covered this in the demo lesson, so that's gonna be a tough one, but FYI. Let's move on to some more homework so I can show you something else we can do. Choose the correct form of to have. Remember that we cannot use the present continuous to describe possessions, relationships, or illnesses. The present continuous is the has got, the have got, right? So I don't think we actually covered this in the demo lesson. Um, so I'll go over this one very quickly with you. The old man has got, is having a have, right? So is having, it's present continuous, by the way. So there we go. So which one is it? Is it has got, is having, or have two large dogs? The teacher has, that's the this one, has got. The teachers haves are having has an important meeting this afternoon. The teachers, so this is present continuous, remember what I said. So if we haven't covered present continuous, um, you might want to go back and study present continuous. But this is an example when we use present, or having. Oops. You might want to go back and study present continuous tense because the teachers are having an important meeting this afternoon. All right, that's it for the homework. Um, hope you guys see you.